You have, sir, mentioned that too much is coming right up to the level of the Supreme Court. And the Supreme Court should be dealing more with larger issues, constitutional issues. Could you elaborate a bit on that? According to me, no other, bird, no other uh, apex court of a country has burdened itself with such a huge volume of cases in regard to which it's not equipped to dispose of that number of cases. And every year the areas are mounting. Now, I have a tragic case of uh, uh, pensioners from Andhra Pradesh, one lakh and fifty thousand of them, who had filed a case in the High Court in 1998, came up in 2004 to the Supreme Court of India. It has been referred to a three judges bench. It is still pending without being disposed of. While it was filed uh, eight years back, and uh, the result of it is over 55,000 of them have died. Therefore, the courts are entertaining cases which should never be touched by an apex court. Take, for example, rent control. Take matrimonial uh, cases. Take labor cases. Uh, any number of them. Now, the Supreme Court of a country is a constitutional court. It has to deal only with constitutional issues, issues of national importance, suits between states or state and center. These are the areas to which it should uh, address itself to. But the problem really is that so far as the high courts are concerned, there, is, there are a large number of cases where the Supreme Court would fault the High Court orders, the High Court judgments. There has to be some uh, safety wall. And therefore, I had written an article in the Hindu one once where I had said many countries have what is known as a court of appeal in between high, the High Courts, which is the highest court in the state, and the Supreme Court of India. And the courts of appeal would absorb finally all these sort of cases. The Court of Appeal will be judges elevated from the High Court. They would decide it. And they have four Courts of Appeal, one in each one of the regions. And they will dispose of finally these cases. And uh, will, these cases will not be allowed to come to the Supreme Court. Then just look at the result. The Supreme Court of India will have 2,000 cases each year. Now, if they restrict themselves and they sit in benches of five, you need three or four benches, 15 judges, five, benches of five, throughout the year, you will find then that the development of the law is harmonious. But today you have 13 benches sitting in the Supreme Court. And each bench is a Supreme Court of India. The orders of each one of them is, goes out in the name of the Chief Justice of India. Now, one J bench can't interfere with another bench. But we've seen some instances yeah, of I think different recently, orders coming recently. from different benches. Yes because, there are, the same yes, because there are 13 benches. Each one is the Supreme Court of India. This is wrong. The other issue, sir, I want your thoughts on is, uh, for over the past decade or so, we've also seen a trend where the Supreme Court has, in many cases, been monitoring even investigations of a CBI or any other agency, there has at the same time, even this whole year, we've seen the whole Lokpal debate on as far as CBI should be made more independent of the government. There's always been the issue coming up that is it independent, which is why perhaps the courts have taken it on itself that we will monitor this probe. And as I said, the trend may have started a decade plus ago, but it seems to continue. What is your view on that? See, since uh, I'm paying for the CBI in the 2G cases, where monitoring is going on, so far as the Supreme Court is concerned, I would. Uh, it will be difficult for me to. No, I was not talking about but, a specific but, case, more the principle. But on the second part of your question, I would agree with you that the CBI has to be freed from all governmental control. As it is, if you ask the director of CBI or any of their top officers, they will say that there is absolutely no control. If you ask the government, they will say that there is no absolutely no control. But recently you would have seen on the television a number of former uh, directors yes. of the CBI, each one of them admitting that in uh, the case of high-profile cases of high, big politicians... They got phone calls. <laughs> they get phone calls and so on. Therefore, their denials may not be sufficient. 
But I know that the last director with whom I was interacting was totally independent and so on. Therefore, it is not that all of them uh, are uh, similar to what was painted on uh, the television by the former... Uh, this. Even if government tries to uh, uh, interfere with their work, the uh, director has been, uh, the directors have been refusing. They have been standing up for the independence. But now that we have heard all this, I think it's absolutely essential that a completely new system has to be introduced. Because you have to have a totally independent investigating agency, which cannot be spoken to by government. How is it that the CAG has been functioning so independently? And why should you not have something similar to that? And the constitution therefore has to guarantee the independence of the head of the institution. That is the director of the CBI. His appointment has to be in the same manner as uh, uh, whosoever may appoint him. His conditions of service cannot be interfered with in any manner. And uh, he can be removed only by the uh, the Supreme Court of India, as in the case of the uh, members of the Public Service Commission, CAG, and so on. If that is ensured, and there is there will be there is a tradition of independence, that will come about in no time, and then you will have a excellent uh, investigating agency. It is excellent now. Why is it that people are still asking for uh, the CBI whenever a uh, problem arises? They don't want the local police to investigate. And but you, did not but you believe that mm -hmm. constitutionally it needs to be empowered more. Yes. Their independence has to be guaranteed, just as you guarantee the independence of the uh, uh, judges, the independence of the CAG, and uh, the independence of the uh, Election Commission of India in the same manner. That should be done.